welcome to Newsday. Reporting live from Singapore, I'm Marie Kooi. The headlines. Risking their lives. We have a special report on the Afghan refugees crossing Iranian territory in the hope of reaching Turkey. The journey is full of risk, but some Afghans still feel this is their best hope. As Britain stations two more warships in the Asia region, the Commodore of the Carrier Strike Force tells the BBC the thinking behind the strategy. One third of the, the world's trade flows through the South China Sea, the growing economies here. So it's natural that the United Kingdom uh, you know, wants to have a presence uh, and, and a say and be involved in this in a really important region. Important new data from the UK shows that one in six of those most critically ill with COVID-19 are pregnant women who've not received a vaccine. And Captain Kirk takes a real-life journey into space. The 90-year-old actor William Shatner explains why. Live from our studio in Singapore. This is BBC News. It's Newsday. It's 7 in the morning here in Singapore and 2 a.m. in Istanbul, where Turkish authorities have boosted security on their border with Iran and warned that they won't accept an influx of migrants and refugees fleeing the Taliban in Afghanistan. Many Afghans make the journey through Iran to Turkey, hoping to travel onwards to other European countries. Turkey already has the world's biggest refugee population of around 4 million people. Our international correspondent Ola Guren has been to the Turkish border province of Van and sent this report. <laughs> 